Hey, what's up, guys? I'm back with another video. So in today's video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on Pixel Experience ROM for Poco F1. So without any further delay, let's get into the video. So the first thing which you'll notice once you install this ROM to your device is it gives you this clean look, just like the Pixel One. And I am a fan of it. That's one of the biggest reasons why I installed this X Pixel Experience ROM on my Poco F1. And if you're a person who likes this clean and minimal setup, I would suggest you to check out this ROM. Now moving on to my day-to-day -day experience with this ROM, aka performance. In one word, it's good. It's just like my device on MIUI 9. There is no lag. There's no stutter. It's pretty damn smooth. Now let's talk about the gaming experience on this ROM. I played games like PUBG with ultra presets, and the game held up really good. It played without any stutter or lag. I really enjoyed playing in this device. And moving on, I played even few other light games, which were really, really good. There was no, of course, if your PUBG is not gonna lag, how is this game gonna lag? Yeah, so the overall experience of the gaming and the performance was really good. On day-to-day -day usage, it's really damn nice. Now let's move on to the camera. This is one of my favorite feature found in this room. So Google camera come pre-installed in this room. So you need not to go and install it. Whereas in other room, you have to download and install this on your device. So if you have not used Pixel camera before, Pixel camera along with your Poco F1 is really good and you should definitely try it. The best part of this is that all the features of Pixel cameras found here, like slow motion, video, playground, and many more. Whereas when you download it from website in other ROM, it will crash pretty much all the time when you try to go to the video part. Whereas in this ROM, everything works and I think this is really good. You need to definitely try this one out once you install the ROM. So now let's talk about the battery life of found in this ROM. So if you're a very light user, you can easily get somewhere around six hours. But if you're a powerful user, you will get somewhere very close to five and a half hours. So I have installed the Franco kernel with it. So if you do some tweaks in the Franco kernel settings, you can get really amazing battery life results. So with the help of the Franco kernel, you can underclock your CPU and GPU, uh, or you can even create per app profiles which will help you to reduce the usage of battery and you can get really amazing battery results. So if you are going to install the Pixel OS on your Poco F1, I would suggest you to even try the Franco kernel with it. So that brings us to the end of the video. Can we use this ROM as a daily driver? My answer to it is yes, you should at least give it a try. This ROM is really good, especially with Franco kernel, you will get amazing results. So that's it for the video guys. If you like this video, do like this and subscribe to my channel. Until then, it's me signing off. Like, share, subscribe and don't forget, peace.